Oh my god! I think I understand country music! Howdy friends, it's Dr. Groovy here, Scott Grove from GroovyMusicLessons.com Going way, way, way back in the old country. No, not the old country. <laughs> not back to that place. Um, the old good country. Um, I had did a series, started it, um, for a buddy of mine. I got two chords through it, the E and the A, and then getting ready for the B. He's ready for that now. And I'm going to kind of take everybody from the beginning of this and then just tie it all together. So from my buddy who was waiting for the B section, <laughs> we'll do it now. And uh, also throw in the B7 chord because that's generally what will happen in the good old country stuff. So I will show you what um, notes you can play. This here was the whole request. Um, how do I make up solos? How do I even begin to start? I mean, I have flat out no idea what in the world to do, so I'm going to throw the easiest stuff by you with a little backing track from my acoustic that I laid down and um, show you the easiest things you can play and then just get gradually a little um, more complicated, but they're going to go by pretty fast, so you have a pause button and all the stuff is going to be bare bones easy and... Uh, extremely easy to remember and extremely easy to learn. Okay, so let's get right on to that. Three chords all day long here. E, A, and B, or B7. B7 is usually what people like to play in the old country. So we will have E. Maybe E7. A, back to E, up to B7, okay for those of you who aren't aware of what's going on here, the B7 is actually starting at the second fret with your middle finger on the A string. We're actually going to skip every other string and put a finger on the second fret. So we got the A string, second fret covered. We skip over the D string, put our ring finger on the second fret of the G string, skip over the B, put our pinky on the second fret right there of the high E string. Now with this one finger we got left, we're going to put it on the first fret right there on the D string. Play everything down. We're not going to do our low E string, so shut it up with your thumb and you got this. Okay, so you get you hear that all the time. going like that the second half we'll do this it's just a little bit shorter so that's basically what we're playing over okay the things I want you to know are um, again, in the key of E, I'm going to have you chase the chords right now, and that's going to be with this. Here's your E note right here on your D string, second fret. Okay. I'm going to have you play right above it, which is in, um, it ain't going to matter. I, I could throw all kinds of theory at you, but I want to make it easy. I want, want it to go... Okay, so second, fourth, and then to your E. So two, four on the A, then two on the D string. That'll give you your E chord or your E note. However you want to do it, we'll get some stuff in and you could just follow me. Okay, so just get used to working those three notes and 
we'll get some actual um, voicings here in a second, which are how they sound or how it would sound if somebody sang it or if you how you play it. Uh, then we're gonna go to A. Same thing. Our A is on the G string right here, second fret, and it happens to be exactly the same, but just one whole set of strings down. So you got two, four, then two, two, four on the D, and then G is back to two. So if you're doing it back on E, now on A, back to E, now I'm going to chase it to the B, okay, now when you're in A, B is always just two frets up, okay, in all these kind of country songs that are three chords, the last chord, that B7, um, so your third chord will just be two frets two frets past whatever you did in the second chord. <laughs> okay, so E, A, back to E, we're going to chase it to B, okay, so we're just going right along with the chords. Back to E, back to A, then we're going to go back to E, So it's going to be that easy to begin with, then it will quickly add some stuff to it. But you need to see how the very beginnings of it work. Okay, so let's get to the very beginnings. I will just play very simple, and you can follow along. Again, it's just these um, three notes going along. I will find some sort of pattern to play here. Not a pattern, it'll be the same thing, but just how to fit it in, my little voicing of it. Um, okay, so here we go. So it's going to be just that easy, and that's what we're going to play um, two times per chord until the very end. Then it goes one time on the E, one time on the B, then back to the E. So A, back to E, and then up to B. That's all we're going to play through the entire thing, okay? So let's get that covered first, and then we will get right away from this and learn something that we can tie to it so that it's not so basic, but basics, you got to start somewhere, okay? Here we go. <laughs> way of doing it. Um, now we're actually going to do um, one thing that makes you not 
chase the chord so much, um, sure, that sounds fine, and that is perfectly valid, and millions of songs were recorded that way. Now, when we play an E and A, I want you to play the exact same thing, so play what you played in E. Now, A. <laughs> I know it sounds weird. Now, back to E. Now, when we go to the B, you can either go or And what this is, um, that's the one I want you to play right there. Let's do that one. Over top of the E. e. Now stay there in A. Stay there over A. Back to E. When we go to B, this is a very important thing for you to know. Since we are in E, when we go to that last chord, um, the main thing that changes is this note here, that E note, has to go backward one fret. That is the main thing. Everything else can pretty much stay the same. So we're going to go, uh, let's just do this. Okay, that's whole totally a different thing. Or... Okay, let's do it backward. Okay? I'm going to make up my mind. Let's do it that way. So let's go backward one fret, then to four, then to two. So we're going to one on the D, then four and two on the A string. So we got... And we end on the B note. So it's the same as being in B. Okay? So we're going backwards, learning to go backwards, and learning that this note has to be changed, and it has to go back one. Otherwise, it will sound like a total mess. But that's why we're here, to learn things like that. Okay? So now we are not chord chasing the second chord. So when we're in E, we're doing the same thing as we were before. When we go to A, we're going to learn that every song in the world can be played where you do not have to chase the chord and go you can actually stay right where you're at and play whatever you played in the first part you can play it the same over the A then back to the E same thing again but when you go to that B you'll notice that note is one note back so So we go down to E if we want to. <laughs> okay, not get ahead of ourselves. So again, E. Then when we go to A, stay on the exact same E thing. And back to E, stay on E again. And then we go to B, we're going to back it up one fret. And then go four and two right there on the A string. Okay, here we go. And I will um, start it with my little thingy here. <laughs> Okay, so that showed you that we can go down backward that way. Okay, and um, at, like I said at the end, in B, back to E. You can go four to open down to your low string. Okay, and you can even do that again. Start here. You can do 
that. It's just do it one time just for fun, okay? That's just a little something for you to do. Okay, now this here is going to be something that if you can, you can do it either way. Um, if you have an electric, you can bend the string and you'll have to bend the string down towards the floor. If you have an acoustic, you'll have to do your, uh, just climb up to the string. Okay, following exactly what we were doing, we're going to go, um, instead of, okay, we're going to follow that what we were doing from the very beginning. We're going to do all that. And again, if the bending thing will, be, I'm going to show it to you. If you got an electric guitar, you can do, do that. Okay, so that lick is exactly what we were doing before, the first three. Back to four again. So four on the A. Now we gotta do two more notes, which is... Okay, so if you're on electric and you wanna try it, you could take that fourth fret on the D string, bend it down, and go back to two, but you gotta go what's called a whole step or two frets is how far you have to bend it. It's a pain to get it there, but it's worth it once you get it. Um, acoustic players and electric players, to get it going at first, uh, let's just do it by sliding up and sliding back. You only pick it one time. Okay? So you pick it slide it up to six, slide it back to four. You haven't picked it but once at the beginning. You can pick that one if you want. And if you got real strong hands, you don't have to pick it again, okay? And going to A. chase or you can use this B and go then E again okay and of course we will stop chasing it just shortly okay so let's chase them all you pick whichever B you want to because we're going to actually chase it and do the same thing when we did at the very beginning, but just adding two notes. Okay, so I'll get the first one here and follow me along. Here we go. Okay, I forgot my background music did that, but that also lets you know that everything is going to fit together. Okay, it's going to be one time through since this lick is so long. Okay, so that was my bad and I will start again and we'll just play them each one time. And I'll, I'll try it again see if I can get it right. Here we go. <laughs>
Back to E. how that one fits together. I'm going to put the camera on pause for a second and make a whole new chapter and we'll do this for about an hour okay and here we go I'll be right back and pick it up right where we're from. Okay so now we're exactly back where we were and let's try that again which is then to E, and I'm going to use this B this time. Now the next time it goes around, some of these just have, have to go real quick in an order, and if you just follow me and practice along with me, you'll see how it works. Uh, the this, this way of so many songs were written back in those days, the second half of it was just a little bit shorter, just the way the songs were written. Okay, so here we go. Follow me along. A. E. Now the low B. Back to E. really cool and again we're going to stop chord chasing this time and, and then when the A comes up the next one stay exactly like we did before do not chase the chord to the A just stay in E because that first chord and that second chord you can always play the exact same things in them that's over the E now We get to the way this works, this particular chord, the way that it is phrased is a better term. Um, phrasing, just like how you would sing, and some people sing it slightly different, not different notes, but they just phrase it differently. Like, on the road again, or they'll just go, on the road again, you know, just like Willie Nelson every single night. You never know how he's going to phrase it. <laughs> okay, so again, we're going to stay and not change. So we're going to do E, and then the A, whatever way you want to play it, then back to E. Now when we go to B, that's what I want you to play right there. So that'll be B, so that's two on the A string, four two on the D, then four, two, so we're just going forward and backward. Again on the A string, two, four, D string, two, and then just backward, A string, four, two, and we end up on the B. So let's try it through um, a couple times, and remember that second time is shorter, so we got to phrase it different, cram it in there, okay? So it's going to be, and 
then we're going to stay there. Back to the E, stay there. Then B. Then. Same thing. A. Now here's where it gets quick. E. because we need to uh, go quickly at that end. So... Or... And then the low one. Which will be four, two, open. Okay? It's nice to hear that one. Okay, so the last one is... from the E to the B. So E, B, back to E. Just the lower E, okay? Here we go with me picking it up at the beginning for us. And again, or if you got this later. Okay, so here we go. sounds really great when you do not change it sounds like you really know what you're doing and you do you don't have to you don't have to go chasing the chords okay and um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one be just like it is and I'm gonna show you um, something else about this whole B business okay so you got the one or the A chord oh, I'm sorry the E chord <laughs> Same thing with the A. Back to the E. Or. And that's just like being an E. It's just. <laughs> okay. And that's it. Um, then you'll see what I mean. Okay is all I can actually say is you'll see what I mean. I'm going to change the phrasing on the B. This here is just for you to watch and learn from. Okay, here we go again. Same thing. We're not chasing the A chord. We're not chasing anything but that B. We're going to go and that's about it. Then or just as slow and simple as we can but sometimes these are the best sounding licks you can do. Okay, here we go. Stay there. Phrasing, phrasing, phrasing. Now this is where you get to kind of stop listening to me and start listening to your inside head. This is where you start to learn. Okay, the other stuff um, was paint by numbers. Now here comes paint by your brain. Okay, we're going to actually um, speak this one and you are going to try different ways of speaking it. You're going to... Um, just simply phrase it different. So one will be the next one. OK, 
Okay, because you can stop anywhere you want and repeat it. That is totally valid. Try as much as that you can. I'm going to put a bunch of it in here and just run it through a few times. Watch, listen, pick it up, whatever you like. I'm going to just do a bunch of different phrasing as I make it up. I have nothing planned. Okay, if you like something, watch how I go. Now the A. There's a hole there. Okay, so same thing again. I'm not going chord chasing. I'm going to keep in the E, keep in the E over the A, keep in the E over the E again, then kind of just hit that B note. Okay, if you do hit this E again and you go to the B chord and you want to stay on that string, back up to E that way. It's just kind of a cool note to hit. You'll end up playing it an awful lot later. Here we go. Just a whole bunch of playing just around with what we have. Okay? Um, just things to have when we're jumping around. I went ahead instead of this B, I jumped up to that B. And I chose to simply phrase it different and sing with my guitar higher up to that B instead of that B. Down to this E instead of this E. Okay, um, another thing is learning to keep going over the neck. Now I'm going to take you one more position on the neck, and that is going to be on our B string right here. We have E, kind of like you're tuning your guitar, you know. And reason some of these are going to look funny instead of... Because remember here when you're tuning... That one has to go behind, back to four. Then you got to remember that with what I'm getting ready to show you. So instead of now, it has to go. See, they're not on the same frets anymore because the guitar's tuned weird when it's tuned on that fourth. That brings everything back one string, but then your B string and your E string 
still stay the same. So that G string is what's actually all cattywampus. Okay. If you don't, of course, you know that word if you're playing this kind of music. Everybody else, hey, there's a new word. It means out of sync and all messed up. It's cattywampus. Okay. So we're going to do the same as before, but we're just going to be in a new position. Okay. Hey, everybody likes new positions. <laughs> okay. So. Then A. Okay. So what we're doing is doing what's called that hammer on, on G string from four to six. Then the E note. Same as tuning. I can tell I need some. There you go. So four, six, then five on the B string. It's the same as that high E string open. So I'm doing, if you watch his hand, it's down, then up. So that's hammering on. I'm only playing it once on the B on the G string. So down, hammer on, up. Now we get to stay on the same fret where we're going to go five, seven, five. That's on the B and E string. Five, seven, then five. Pick it the same way. We're, ch we're chord chasing again and just kind of to learn where we're at in this new position and then we'll get out of the chord chasing. But we can tie all three of these different places together in a second. Okay, so the first one. Back to E. See, there's where it's weird again, just like we did here. Have to drop it one fret from the E when we go to that B. Same thing here, we have to go to that B, I'm sorry, that E note. When we go to the E, I'm sorry, we are on E. <laughs> and that's your E note. A, E, B, we go back one note. Because here's actually the B right here, fourth fret on the G string, but we have to play. back to the E, we only just change the one note. It's just the easiest position to get into. So, in E, in an A, in E, in B, back to E, just put this down. Okay, so let's just do that. Very simple, and that's what gets us to the good stuff. Okay, so the simple stuff, Again, just to get you used to being in this position, this part of the neck, okay? So again, four, six, five are the fret numbers. Starting on the G string, here we go. One, two, three, four. Took you all the way down, all three octaves. So 
and go. All over the place and get all these other octaves here in a little while. Okay, so now we're going to do the same as before and not chord chase over to the A. We're going to stay on very um, easy lick real quick one time and all that stuff and then when we go to the A we're going to stay exactly where we were not switch just stay in the E so go to the A stay there go back to E B okay so that's what we're going to do next okay I'm going to pause this for a second and then we'll come right back to it Okay, that didn't hurt too bad, did it? Okay, so here we go. Same thing again. But we're going to stay right there when it goes to the A. Okay, and then there'll be some phrasing play here in a little bit. And we'll do a couple more things where we get to make up our own stuff. And then we'll get out of this and then do some more, you know, here in the, in the week or two. And just start, keep on adding some stuff until you've got so much information you don't know what to do with it but that's what makes you good you pick out your favorite things then you have a whole bag of your favorite tricks to go to okay so here we go and one two three four stay there Okay, so you saw that I went. Same stuff we were doing before, and that was actually just like this. Or, same thing here. You have to bend up if you're bending strings now. Okay, so you'll recognize that and start. before you know it because it's all very very closely related uh, kind of like all the folks back home in Indiana and Kentucky um, <laughs> very closely related okay so again that was not chord chasing we just stayed there E then E then E then B okay so here comes um, a little of me doing some phrasing just to give you some ideas okay and I'll just play it over the same thing start off with what we know and then hopefully you just pick up some stuff and I'll make anything that is weird very easy for you to figure out by looking or sounding it out okay here we go on E again one two three four <laughs>
Okay, so very basic stuff. What I did to answer some questions was doing the E. Then I actually followed the A. And I still did that. Two frets. Two frets, two frets, two frets. I got a backup one. <laughs> Going back to the E. Backup one for the B. Now there's B. It's called E7, so that takes your E note back two frets. So that gives you that old time sound like. So that same thing. Then. So I skipped around and I followed it, then I chased it, and then I followed it, then I chased it, then I just made that stuff I want, okay? Um, then there's these little things if you uh, can want to consider them. Um, different phrasings that you haven't learnt yet. One's called a gallop. That's what I call it in country music. What they call it anywhere else doesn't matter right now. So I'm lifting my finger off the, not off the string, but so it's going, making that. So I'm going, click. Okay, playing the note once, down and two times just clicking it. So it's like, sound like a horse gallop. Or like a chicken. Okay, so. So if you start doing that, that's just called mute or choking it. Choking the chicken. <laughs> so you're just lifting up the finger but not off the string. That's what's making it dead. And that there is very much part of what's actually called chicken picking, which will come in later. There's very handy getting that. Just learn to get that. Whatever it takes, you can put ten fingers on there if you want. You can put that part of your palm right on the string as you got the rest of your fingers here. But that's going to become very important. So let's just try to do that. Okay? Just that. And I'm going to keep it there on the E note, fifth fret on the B string, uh, during E and during A, and back to E when I go to B, um, you do your choice, you can go backward one like we always do, or you can actually go ahead two. That's a whole different thing you haven't tried to learn yet, but that's what you can do for B, you can go back one or ahead two. Okay, let's just show you what this is about. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
so you can see how there's all kinds of really cool little things there to get ready to happen and you heard some other stuff take that back and watch it because I went to that E <laughs> These are things that you can go back and watch now, and I want you to pick them up on your own. But these are just more very familiar stuff that came out of the 40s, 50s, and 60s with Conway, and stuff like that, okay? And um, there is um, another thing I want to just get here before we end up. And again, remember that you can note chase all you want, or chord chase from the E to the A, but remember also all the other chords. When there are three chords, like in G, you can write it down, it's going to be G, C, G, D. Okay? If it's in D, it's going to be D, G, D, A, back. Okay, if we're in G, it's G, C, G, D. Okay, um, C, C, E, we already got. <laughs> F we don't have to do yet. Um, G A D A E A D A E um, will be the other ones and work them out. The note in the middle A then to D This here's the other biggie. Um, is what's called climbing up and climbing down. It's called a walk. Okay? So if we're in E. be an E here. We have to go up to this E here. But we're going to start on the B here below like we're going like we've always been doing. We have to go two, four, like we've always done. But then we're going to grab this one right before that. Just like we're going to the B. But back one. But this is how all the walks work. Is grabbing that one weird note. So we're in E. Okay, so it's Okay, so it's always got that da da. You can do it da 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 da, or you can do it just one time. Or same thing. Now coming backward. Exactly what you played coming up to the A. Just getting back to the E. Play that same thing. Backward to the B, exactly the same as the other one. So just get used to doing that, okay? You could come up with all kinds of cool things, but that walk um, is just amazing, okay? So let's get that walk in there. I will do a walk up into it, like one, a two, a one, two.
you've heard that a million times, that's how you do it. Okay, so it's uh, if you want to mute it again. Okay. Put some reverb on your guitar. And then try to mute all the notes, make them all that kind of a sound. But you're going to get this part of your hand, that side palm, way back here by the bridge to where it almost lets you hear the note. Okay, like here you can't hear it. Keep going backward, keep going backward. Now it's got a nice old sound to you. Hear the, you hear the percussiveness of the pick and you can still make out what the note is at the same time. Of course this is a Johnny Cash way of doing things and when we do the straight walks, no messing around with the other stuff, then you get all that stuff. Um. get us through for a little bit and um, we'll get back to some more right in the uh, same key because there's so much to do in E and then I'll start doing more in the keys that we haven't got to yet and let you see how it all starts to fit together put together some four and five chord songs once we start getting better at that so Again, just to my buddy who really, really wants to just learn how to play with his buddies on the front porch. Doesn't want to be famous or nothing, but it's like, I just want to be able to take a lead solo and play what's on my mind. That's what this is about. So, we'll take as long as it takes. The rest of my life, if you want. I am totally dedicated to giving you guys the rest of my life to teach you how to play and to have fun. That's you know where I'm at in my life and hey all we can do is give and enjoy each other and pass the torch right once again Dr. Groovy Scott Grove GroovyMusicLessons.com currently it's almost Christmas so um, happy holidays Merry Christmas Feliz Navidad and everything else that you can think of my Sharona or whatever <laughs> you guys be groovy um, I've been playing some Paisley stuff. Hey, we got Paisley on the back, too. Very cool. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Got some more guitars coming, so I gotta wait on the UPS man. Later. Bye.